Ancient of days, the one who was ways and is to come. And you know, Lord, run to the walking by me. And you know, my feel for me, in me, oh God, I love Oh, it is not by power. Neither is it by mind, but by my spirit says to It's not by power, nor by mind. I'm a 
This mountain shall be removed. This mountain will be removed in Jesus' name. This mountain must be removed. Mama's spirit says, Don't It's not by power, it's not by mind. Mama's spirit says, Don't This mountain shall be removed. This mountain will be removed in Jesus' name. This mountain must be removed. It shall be removed by my spirit. Says the Lord is not by power, is not by mind, by my spirit. Says the Hallelujah. All the Lord God, the many pulpit, Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All the Lord God, the many potent Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. For the Lord God, the many folk and praying. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. For the Lord God, the many folk and praying. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. What shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you. What shall I say unto you, Jehovah Jireh? My resurrection and life. All I have to say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All I have to say. 
And kill love. And kill love. And kill love. For everything you have done. Thank you, thank you, love. Thank you, love. Thank you, love. Oh, have everything you. Hallelujah, for the Lord God, how many poor and rain it from everlasting to everlasting, you rain it, Lord. We know as altar, as altar, as altar, God with us, always with us, in every situation and circumstances. He's with us, he's always with us. Be no exalted, exalted in no. Thank you, Chief. Hi everyone, happy Sunday to you all. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday to you all. Uh, blessed be the name of the Lord, for He is worthy. He is worthy, gloriously worthy to be praised. And unto Him alone be all glory, honor, praises, adoration, exaltation from everlasting to everlasting. For his goodness, his mercy, his loving kindness, and his grace. I just want to sing to him in all situation and circumstances. He said we should praise his name. And that is exactly what I'm doing. I know you'll be wondering. She's just off the radar like that. She just disappeared off the, off the social media like that. Because I have not been doing uh, my YouTube video for like some months now. It is because um, I have to like lie low for a while and focus their attention to my children, especially the one that is um, that is on admission at King's Hospital. He's been there for a couple of months now due to medical issues. So that is why you haven't seen me or heard from me for a while. I haven't been on the on social media for a while. I haven't been releasing um, a video for a while. It has um, been a single mom, a single parent. I need to leave enough room and time for my children to support the ones at home and to support the one that is in the hospital at the same time. So my apologies, like I used to say all the time, now none of you, my uh, subscribers, my lovers, none of you will be taken for granted no matter what. But like I said, um, the, the situation of things is uh, quite dicey. But it will not shake my faith. It will not remove my faith in Christ Jesus, no matter what. 
even though my faith my my faith is shaking but my faith stands strong and firm in him because my eyes look onto the cross of Calvary to my savior the savior of the vine the one that answers prayer the one that has the power the supremacy authority and power the sovereign god that has the sovereign power supremacy authority to do and undo the power that the one that has the power of life and death and that is why he said we should be persevering in him we should not give up on on our faith on our conviction in christ jesus no matter what challenges comes our way no matter what the circumstances is we should hold them firm to him and know that our power in heaven and earth belongs unto him alone it belongs to god alone so and i am trusting and standing steadfast in his word believing in the creator of heaven and earth that has the power the heaven and earth and all deal with it believing and trusting in the one and only god that has the power to do and undo remember don't compromise Never you compromise. Do not compromise your faith. In Christ Jesus, no matter what. Because as for me, there is no going back. I won't compromise. Even when my faith is shaking, even when uh, they strive temptations and tribulations, I will not compromise. Even when, at a point in time, I feel like I don't want to pray anymore. <laughs> I used to say eh, that as servants of God, as children of God, as people of God, the Bible warned us already that there will be trials, there will be tribulations, there will be temptations. But we should share how for he has conquered it all for us. And he prepared our mind also that even up to the point of death, we shouldn't give up on him. Be alive or dead, we should stand firm and strong in Him. So, as for me, there is no going back. I won't compromise. And that is my candid advice to us all. No matter what the temptation or trials may or might be, never you compromise. And may God help us all in the name of Jesus Christ. This is my word of advice to us today. And please bear with me because I have to, like I had said earlier, put everything aside on hold to be there for my kiddos because he need me, he need my attention. My kiddos need me to be there for them as a single parent. And uh, because after God, they come first. So, that is the reason why you haven't heard from me and i appreciate your love and support i appreciate your help i appreciate everything because i'm telling you honestly myself and my children we are going through a series of trials but well, god has been faithful in the midst of the storm he has been there for us saying to myself all the time that be still and know that I have God. And he has been a faithful father. For oh, it is not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Because it's, I don't have the power of my own to do anything. It's not by your righteousness or your holiness. You, I, as a person, I don't have that power to do anything of my own. I don't have, I don't have the, the power whatsoever, but my power is in Christ Jesus. 
And that's why he said that it's not by power, not by might, but by his spirit. It is not by our own self-righteousness because we are all sinners. No matter how well, position you hold in the household of God, even as the head of a church or the de denomination, even as the head of the denomination, you are equally sinner. Anyone that says, according to the Bible, he said, anyone that glorify himself in his own self-righteousness, sin against God, that I did this by my own power, or by my own knowledge, wisdom, or understanding, those people that does that, we are all sinners before him. And when people come out and say, oh, I expand by my own wisdom, understanding, and knowledge, I look at them, and the, what crosses my mind is the story of Nebuchadnezzar, the king. About a year before his trials and tribulations, the Spirit of God revealed himself to him in the dream, and said to him what is about to happen, gave him the prophecy of what is of the sin is about to come in. And he was able to get translation to that dream. But yet he's still going into that sin. He went into that sin rather, and he committed that sin. And we know what happened for people that know the story of King Nebuchadnezzar. Because he gave glory, he gave the glory to himself instead of giving the glory to Almighty God. The wrath of God came upon him. The Lord struck him. We know the whole story. And so the servant of God, the head of denomination or parish, that goes around and glorifies themselves that I did this by my own power. I did that by my own power. I expand by my own power. By my own wisdom, my knowledge. I did this and that not knowing that they are committing sin by not giving the glory to the Lord God Almighty, but not according that glory to God. And that is, you know, what makes us all sinners because um, I can bet you this flesh and blood that you see, there is absolutely no perfection in flesh and blood. The lust of the flesh crops in every now and then, and those are part of the lust of the flesh. We sin day in, day out, and this is the reason why our Lord Jesus Christ said to us as well that we should pray for forgiveness of our sin at all time, and he lived that exemplary life to, for us to follow. Because he himself said to the disciple and to the people around that, I am not perfect. It's only God the Father that is perfect. Because he's in the form of flesh. And that is the evidence that the perfection is not in flesh and blood. This is my word of advice to us today and encouragement. We should know that in all things, we must solely rely on God for the perfection of all Things that we are trusting him and in expecting unto the Lord God Almighty for. We should know that, that the perfection of things is in the hand of Almighty Father. And may God help us all in the name of Jesus Christ. And this is all I have for you today. When uh, we pray, like he encourages us, we must remember to ask for forgiveness of our sins. Even in the Lord's Prayer, when he teaches the people how to pray, when they say, how do we pray? Teach us, we don't know how to pray. He gave them that prayer uh, uh, in the Bible, our Father who art in heaven, our Lord be the name. Glorify God first. Our Lord, it be the name, the kingdom come, the will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Glorify God first. Give him thanks for the blessings 
for the blessings you see, for the blessings that you haven't seen yet, or you cannot see. Our Father who art in heaven, our Lord be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Sometimes good things happen to us, bad things happen to us. We must remember to say all time, thy Father let your will be done. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And it comes to the forgiveness of, of our sin. And forgive us our trespasses. Okay? And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. In other words, the more you forgive other people, the more God forgive you. If you don't forgive other people, God will not forgive you. I know some people it's difficult to forgive them, but you must forgive. I know it's hard to forget. You, we might not be able to forget, even myself. I can't forget the good things that people did to me, and I can't forget the bad ones that has been done. I can't forget the evil that has been done. I can't forget the wickedness. Well, we must learn to forgive. And that's why the Lord's Prayer said, and forgive us our trespasses. Our trespasses is our sin. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, who sin, in other words, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Do you see that? And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for heaven and evermore. Amen. So, because take it or leave it, flesh and blood, human being, we are prone. We are prone to go into temptation. And this is also the reason why we must. As, as well, remember the commandment of God that he said to us, we must live in the fear of God. We must have fear of God in all that we do. We must live in his commandment and in his status, in his word. Be obedient to the word of God. Even then, that does not perfect you. It is only by the Spirit of God, by the power of Almighty Father in heaven, God the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, that uh, in Him, in Christ Jesus, is our perfection. So we need to remember this. So because someone is a servant of God, that doesn't mean they are perfect people. The same way our Lord Jesus Christ said to the whole world, the people then that I am not perfect, don't call me perfect. Because there is no perfection in, in, in human being, in mankind. So we can forgive, even though we can forget. And some people will make sure that you never forget what they did because they will continuously do it because they want you to continuously fall into sin of, of, of unforgiveness. And these are the devices of the, of the enemy. These are the devices of uh, the, 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 the devices of the of, of the agent of Satan to encage you in sin. And when you are encaged in sin, you will not be able to be worthy of the glory, the grace and the mercy, the goodness of God. That sin that you are encaged in will be like a blockage. Every one of us, that's why the Word of God also encourages us to strive at all times to be, to live our lives and to live in the will and commandment of God. And may God help us all as we do this. May He strengthen us to live in His will and His commandment. And we need to remember we can continuously live in sin and expect the glory of God to abound. Even though we are sinners, even though by the blood of Jesus Christ that is shed on the cross of Calvary, we enjoy the grace of his goodness, his mercy, and his loving kindness. But we cannot live in sin, continuously live in sin, and expect the glory of God to abound. Now, having said all this, that we are sinners, there are some sin that God outrightly write them off, like thou shalt not commit murder, 
malicious gossiping, bitter jealousy, evil doing, outright wickedness and cruelty, adultery, covetousness, robbery and stealing from others, taking what does not belong to you from others through the fraudulent way or forcefully. All the sins are sins and many, many much more. But the most common one that God spoke about that we know these are sin and we must not outrightly go into it. Uh, this few list of sins I mentioned. And likewise, abominable act, any kind of abomination whatsoever that is spoke about in the Holy Scripture. We cannot outrightly go into that sin and go back on our knees and pray that God forgive me. Then you go back into that sin. And that's why it called that Bible chapter that we cannot continuously live in sin and expect the glory of God to abound. Because our Father in heaven is holy, we must strive and and aspire to live a holy life as much as possible within our capacity and leave the rest to God to help us to live in His will and in His commandment. We need to do this. And may the Almighty Father help us all in the name of Jesus Christ as well. When we do this, and the God the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God knows that we are putting in our best to remain faithful to Him. The Spirit of God will help us. He will help us. That is why He said He will send the helper to us. Because as flesh and blood, we cannot do anything by our own power, not by our might or our own strength, not by our own self-righteousness. Like I said earlier, many people ignorantly believe in their own self-righteousness. But the point blank truth is that they are equally sinners, like everyone that they look down on and call sinners. Now, oh, they, 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 oh this, this, that, oh, this, did that. We are all sinners. Because already you believing in yourself, righteousness, that that is what counts you worthy before God. That is what qualifies you as a child of God. As already disqualify you before him and has already labeled you as a sinner. The example of that, like I said, is that of the story of King Nebuchadnezzar. So it is not by our power, it is not by our mind, but by the spirit of Almighty God. Many people do not know what we know as a child of God, as a Christian. They sin ignorantly. But the moment they know, many people change their way and their life become brand new once they give their life to Christ. And that is why it's so important also for us to have the Spirit of God, the power of Holy Ghost. Because, you know, before the arrival of the power of Holy Ghost, Ghost, the power of the Spirit of God, the power of Holy Ghost, before the arrival of the power of Holy Ghost, which is the Spirit of God, our Lord Jesus Christ is in the midst of the disciples. And that's why he said to the people that were like, why are they not praying? Why are they not fasting? Why are they not this? Everyone is fasting. They are not fasting. And that is why he said that when the bridegroom is with his bride, why will the bride fast? Or, you know, why will the bride fast? Because the bridegroom is with his bride. Because it's in their midst, is that past source for the disciples. And because they are in the flesh, that is why he gave all his teachings to the disciples. He gave all his teachings to the world, to the people around. And he lived exemplary life, like I said. Even though our Lord Jesus Christ is flesh and blood and it's not perfect, we cannot qualify ourselves or be or make um, or, 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 or grade ourselves as equal to him. So as holy as he is, as the son of God, we can see the big difference between him and us as human, as flesh and blood. 
that are sinner that he come into the world because of us and make himself a sinner for our sake. He come in the flesh as a sinner. If he, as holy as he is, can say he's a sinner, is not only as flesh and blood. We can imagine ourselves. Our grade to him is completely zero comma zero. Now, if we look at it that way, we will understand why he said when he wanted to depart from her, he said to the, the disciples that I will send you a comforter, a counselor, a guardian that will teach you all things, that will reveal all things to you, that will guide you, that will comfort you. And that is the Spirit of God, the power of Holy Spirit. Any Christian will have the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit in you. It will be difficult, it will be a struggle for you to live that life that is acceptable before God. Because I said it earlier that even the uh, head of denomination, head of churches, head of parishes, head of the household of God generally, we are all sinners. There is absolutely no perfection in us. In Christ Jesus alone is our perfection. But if you are a Christian and you don't have the Spirit of God, who will be your guardian? Who will be your counselor? Who will be your mentor? Who will be your comforter? And this is the essence of having the Spirit of Almighty God, the power of Holy Spirit. And that is why our Lord Jesus Christ also gave. Immediately he departed. Before he left, he said to the disciples, go to the upper room and wait on me. Pray to the Father to send you the comforter. Because he knows that someone has to fill in that gap when he's leaving the disciples. If, there is, if the Holy Spirit of God has not filled in that gap for them, for, the, for our Lord Jesus Christ, there is a probability, the likelihood, that the disciples will go back into sin. As a matter of time, they will forget all the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. And this is the reason why it's important for us to have Holy Spirit of God. That spirit of Almighty God, the Holy Ghost, is what will mentor you and teach you and guide you in time of tribulations, in time of trials. It will comfort you and will remind you the word of God that in all things, praise the Lord. Sing to Him. Instead of falling into depression, that does not mean we don't fall into depression. Myself too, I fall into depression every now and then. Everyone in the world fall into depression every now and then. No one will say, oh, I have never fallen into depression. I know it's classified as mental health issue. But no mankind, no man on earth has not fallen into depression at one point in time in life. And we will still fall into depression because of the circumstances around us, the kind of world we live in. Even the disciples, they were, in, they were distressed and depressed when the situation of our Lord Jesus Christ changed. He was captured, he was prosecuted, he was abused, he was violated, he was tortured, he was beaten and was crucified, he was killed. They were depressed as well. They were scared. But the Bible taught us also not to be afraid. And that's why he said we should not be afraid of he that can kill the flesh, but not the spirit. But rather, we should be afraid of him that has power over. He is the only one. God the Father, Son, Holy Ghost is the only one that has power over the flesh and the spirit to kill both flesh and spirit. He spoke, out to, he spoke to us also about fear. But then we will still be afraid because we are human. So when we remember his word through the power of Holy Spirit, you see, when uh, you have the Spirit of God, when those things happen, it's the Spirit of God that will help you and wake you up. That, have you forgotten you have a Savior? Have you forgotten you have a mentor? Have you forgotten you have an intercessor? Have you forgotten that you have someone that fight all battle for you? 
Have you forgotten that I said that be dedicated to me even in life or death? Be in life or death. Be dedicated to me even if you know that your life is at stake. Hold on firm, never give up. Stay strong, never look back. And this is my word to us today. Example of the, the need for Holy Spirit of God is what we, I have just mentioned when uh, Jesus Christ left the disciples. He did not leave them alone on their own because we do not have power of our own to do anything. We need the Spirit of God. And that's why that song that says, It's not by power, nor by might, but by my Spirit, says the Lord. This mountain shall be removed. This mountain will be removed in Jesus' name. This mountain must be removed by my spirit, says Dola. Because if he had left them alone, they would have gone back. The spirit of God is our counselor. The spirit of God is our mentor. The spirit of God is our comforter. The Spirit of God is our guiding, is, the, is our all in all, because it's the manifestation of the Spirit of God the Father. Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost is the manifestation of the Spirit of the Father. And our Lord Jesus Christ knows that we need it. That is why he, he gave that commandment to the disciples. That is the power of God that can help us to excel, to succeed in our, in our, as we journey in our Christianity life. That is the only way we can scale through. We can't do anything of the power of our own. And I, I used to sing that song that I have no power of my own. I have no power of my own. Holy Spirit, I look unto you. Help me, O oh God, for I have no power of my own. The manifestation of the Father in the Spirit is the Holy Spirit of God. The manifestation of the Father in the flesh is the, is the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God. He manifests himself, the Father, God the Father manifests himself in flesh in Christ Jesus. He manifests himself in spirit, in the power of Holy, Holy Ghost. And that is also the reason why we call him three in one. May God bless you all. Have a lovely Sunday. Have a lovely week ahead of you. Uh, we'll try as much as possible once in a while. Pop in and give word of encouragement and meditation like this to us. I might not be able to do the Bible Bible meditation the way I do it tra traditionally. And I read the word of God to us because of the reason I've just given. My son is on admission in the hospital for the, for the past couple of months. The situation is quite dicey. So... And because of that, I have to leave everything aside, even my own business that I'm just trying to build. I have to leave everything aside and focus on being a full time carer for now, caring for my children and the one that's got special needs as well, which is the form of another kind of, I don't know if I should call it self employed, but government pays you for that as well. You pay your tax, you pay your pension and all the necessary payment that is uh, th that is to be taken out by law. So it's treated by, like employment as well. I know that the Bible meditation and everything, the work of ministry I do, it's not that I'm making any money from me. I'm not making any money from me. Neither am I making any money from my YouTube channel, both the religious and the entertainment one yet. But all the same, I have to really focus on my on my kid, my kiddos, and support them as a single parent as much as I can. And like I said, I look unto Almighty God to strengthen me and to strengthen my kiddos to be able to do that. And 
I look unto him also to perfect all the good works he has started in our lives. And I pray that it will be our strength, it will be our shield, it will be our buckler, it will be our fortress, it will be our all in all, and it will be our pillar, our rock that we can lean on. And likewise, I pray that God, my almighty Father, Son, Holy Ghost, will be your rock also. And we're strengthening you and we help us all as we continue our journey in uh, Christianity, our Christianity life, as we continue our journey, that it will strengthen us all. I know with him, all things are possible. With him on our side, by the power of his Holy Spirit, by the power of Almighty God, we will scale through and we will make it in the name of Jesus Christ. Despite all the turbulence, troubles, and challenges for all that wait on the Lord righteously, that trust in Him alone, that does not combine Him with any other thing. That we are faithfully and diligently looking unto Almighty God alone, God the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. He will perfect all the good work He has started in our lives, and uh, we will give glory to his name at the end of the day in the name of Jesus Christ. Have a blessed Sunday and have a blessed week through the power in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray to God the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, that his goodness, his mercy and loving kindness we abide with you, we abide my, with myself, I, that we are bound with us all, all the days of our lives, and it will be our shield, buckler, fortress, and hiding place all our life. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will fight every battle for us through the power in the name of Jesus Christ. And it will make us more than overcomer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.